So a quick look at the current work in progress version of the Fallout 4 Twitch integration app. If you head over to properties, you can get connected very quickly by typing in your username and then using that same username with this link to be able to generate yourself your Twitch ID. Uh, this isn't like your stream key where you have to keep it private. So don't worry about showing this to other people. The cool thing actually is that other users can connect to your account while you're running this Fallout 4 Twitch integration. And if they have the same event set, they'll actually experience the same events in their game as yours. Uh, so a few different things here. We have redemption. So this is time in between each event happening. Um, so on the Twitch side, people could redeem things as quickly as they wanted, but only every five seconds would it redeem on your side. Um, let's go over to events really quick. So if you wanted to create your own event, um, and these are things that can be redeemed on Twitch and end up showing up in your game. Um, we're going to show you some of the little sub events that happen inside of those events. Uh, so let's call this demo. Um, and our first little sub event that we want to look at is command type. So this is a console command. A paradigm for this is typically some reader usable name on the top, followed by the actual command on the bottom. So the next one is random. So any command that you put inside of this, and you can put as many as you would like, um, will be chosen at random. Then we have wait, which is self-explanatory. You've got milliseconds, seconds, and minutes, and you've got your actual uh, number there that you can choose. And the last one is gonna be media. So you can point this to any MP3 on your computer, and it'll go ahead and play whatever sound that is. Uh, so we're gonna save this. And you're going to see that this is going to pop up on demo on this command file. And if we go over to the control panel, you're going to notice that it's not actually here. Uh, so this is because our keyword, which we set in properties, is Fallout 4, which means that anything on your channel, uh, redeem-wise, that has Fallout 4, it's going to actually focus on. So this is helpful because you don't want every single redemption in your channel being read. You want to be able to focus it on something specific. So that's configurable. So we're going to take a look at some of the pre-canned ones we have here. So Slayer, uh, this is one that we've done a few times on stream and it's been pretty fun. In the beginning, it's going to go ahead and play um, Doom music, followed by buffing your character and giving you a random weapon. It'll then wait 30 seconds and then clean up your inventory. Another one we're going to show is uh, Spawn Tier 3. So this is going to spawn one of these random enemies. So if we do those together, worth noting, by the way, that this currently only works with channel point redemptions. So you can't connect it to your chat and then tie it to redemptions like that. So we are going to spawn tier three and you're going to see it pop up there in our active redemptions. And then we are going to do Slayer. So let's go ahead and take a look at that really quick. So it won't actually start proccing. Oh God. It won't actually start proccing until you're tabbed into the game and hopefully Slayer makes its way over here <laughs> before we die. Um, as well as uh, you can assign hotkeys uh, to be able to pause the queue and all of this good stuff. So you're gonna see Slayer works as intended. Uh, we've got our tier three enemy here. We're being stunned. We get a, a little bit of jumping in here. Try to juke him out. And that'll do it. And so I tried to link um, the amount of time the song plays for with, you know, the 30 second time limit that I put on this. Um, so yeah, there's just a lot of configuration that can be done here. And hopefully um, as, as we continue to develop this in the future and end up releasing it, uh, we'll have, you know, more functionality out there. So big thanks, um, first of all, to Registrator um, who created the Fallout 4 hotkeys. That's actually how this app is communicating with uh, Fallout 4. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hopefully we have more updates in the future. And that's it for me. Later.